Amazing things are happening at Tesla Giga Berlin. We see more and more Tesla Model Y vehicles built at Giga Berlin for test purposes and parked at the Giga Berlin's parking lot. But there is no sign of the new colors yet, except a small minor sign. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and give us thumbs up if you like this video, please. So about two hours ago, Tesla Giga Berlin blogger and drone operator Jürgen, who tweets a you know, GF for Tesla handle, shared some images of more Model Y vehicles, probably the performance version because they're going to be built at Model uh, Giga Berlin, made at Giga Berlin, but there is no sign of the new colors yet. Elon Musk has tweeted several times about Giga Berlin having a totally new paint shop with new quality, which is going to be far more advanced than the paint shops at other Tesla Giga factories or the Fremont factory. We are hoping that Tesla will introduce new colors at Giga Berlin, but so far we have only had a very small indication of a light blue color in one of the semi-covered Model Ys parked at Giga Berlin's parking lot several days ago. I think those images were shared either by Jürgen or Tobias Lind, whom I uh, often quote when covering Giga Berlin news. Now, when someone commented saying, sadly, no sign of the new colors yet, Jürgen replied and said, at first, Model Y will be painted only in black color, made from Giga Berlin. Later, the special colors will come. Others in comments uh, saying things like uh, holding out for orange, yellow, or bright blue. No more dark colors. In fact, that the, uh, the uh, bright, uh, bright blue is one of those ones that we saw. Now, how important is car's uh, color to you? Do you guys have a favorite col uh, color for a Tesla? Now, Jürgen also says Tesla is uh, actively working on the pavilion of Giga Berlin. It's an entirely different building method and is supposed to look awesome from the outside and inside and is not supposed to be built super fast. It's Germany and therefore really important how a lobby looks like and what people think about it, comments one person. Uh, personally, I didn't know that in Germany people give special attention to a lobby. Probably many other places they do, but I don't know what was special about Germany and lobbies. If you guys know anything about this, please let me know in the comments section below. And uh, so let me know what are your favorite colors, guys and uh, friends and uh, what do you expect to see coming from Giga Berlin and when do we think finally the final permit will come? We should expect something coming maybe mid-February. Well, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and let's move to our next story. I have breaking good news about Tesla Giga Berlin this morning, friends. Brandenburg's government considers water supplies around Tesla to be secure. Water supply is a major issue for Tesla Giga Berlin, but now the Brandenburg government sees the water supply in the region and that of the Giga Berlin factory as secure. Of course, Green League and Nature Conservation Union had sued and don't think it that way. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for breaking Tesla Giga Berlin and Giga Factory Austin and general Tesla electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and give us thumbs up if you find this report helpful. So their Tagesspiegel Spiegel reports that Brandenburg's government considers water supplies around Tesla Giga Berlin to be secure. According to the Brandenburg government, there is no need to worry about sufficient drinking water in the region around the new Tesla factory in Grünheide near Berlin. Here's a quote. The state government does not see the drinking water supply of 170,000 people in the catchment area of the Water Association Strasbourg Erdner and the water supply of Tesla as being at risk, said Environment Minister Axel Vogel uh, from the Greens Party on Wednesday in the state parliament in Potsdam in response to a question. I said catchment area. I myself was not familiar with that word. It's the action of collecting water, especially the collection of rainfall 
over a natural drainage area this is called a uh, water catchment okay uh, for example water catchment continues the whole year around so catching water now this is the good news the lawsuit brought by the environmental associations which is the subject of the proceedings is directed against the increase in the approved water withdrawal quantities in the Eggersdorf waterworks by 1.2 million cubic meters per year not against the original decision from 1976 for around 2.5 million cubic meters of water in the year. The Green League and the Brandenburg Nature Conservation Union have filed a lawsuit against the State Office for the Environment because of the approval for the higher water withdrawal in the waterworks in 2020. From their point of view, among other things, environmental law checks are missing. The WSC, the Water Association, had warned that the association would lack around 4 million cubic meters of groundwater for abstraction if the approval of Giga Berlin granted for the water intake in Eggersdorf was questioned by the actions of the responsible state authority. This endangers the public drinking water supply for 170,000 people in the association area. The administrative, administrative court in Frankfurt order negotiated the case verbally on February 11th. Now, uh, good news is that according to Brandenburg government, there is no need to worry about sufficient drinking water in the region around the new Tesla Giga Berlin factory in Grunheide near Berlin. Well, friends, I'm going to bring you more information about this, especially, I don't know, there is one information that uh, one area, Petershagen Eggersdorf, advised on stopping construction projects due to lack of water. I may see, I may report that la uh, report later today. This is Armin Haryan from TurkNews.com. Um, Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle breaking news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Uh, guys, please give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and I'll look forward to reading your comments. What do you think about these developments? When do you think Tesla Giga Berlin will finally will be approved going through all of these difficulties? Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you everyone and let's see move on to move on to our next Tesla breaking story. news from tesla giga berlin today friends tesla employees in grünheide at giga berlin elect a works council Tesla's Gigafactory in Brandenburg gets an employee representation. The Works Council election is scheduled to take place at the end of February. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TurkNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla breaking news and give us thumbs up, like this video if you find it helpful, please. So German publication Handelsblatt today is reporting that the preparations for the election of a Works Council at the plant of the U.S. electric car manufacturer manufacturer Tesla Giga Berlin in near Berlin have been completed. The employee representatives are to be elected on February 28th. Is this the first union at Giga Berlin? This was announced by the district manager of IG Metal in Berlin, Brandenburg, Saxony, Bridget Ditz on Thursday in Berlin. IG Metal is the most powerful metal workers union in Germany, which also include automotive workers union. Basically, the establishment of a works council is always a good thing, said Ditz to Hannes Blatt. With the works council, the workforce gets a voice and can contribute and assert their interest. Deeds pointed out, however, that the Works Council will probably not represent all facets of the workforce in its initial phase. The trade unionist justified this by saying that the car maker first filled the management floors and engineering positions. Only gradually are the employees of Giga Berlin recruited for production, who will ultimately represent the majority, said Deeds. The composition of the works workforce will therefore change significantly. Tesla employees had already initiated the election of a works council in November at Giga Berlin, although only a fraction of the plant employees were employed at that time. According to the to union information, between 2,000 and 2,300 people currently work on the site. In the future, around 12,000 employees in Grünheide will build up to 500,000 electric 
cars per year. The start of Giga Berlin's production has been repeatedly postponed but is now imminent. The first cars have already rolled off the assembly line in a test run. You know, Elon Musk wants to travel to Berlin in February, says uh, Hundes Blood, and the uh, CEO is closely monitoring the construction of the new Giga Berlin factory and has already been there several times, including um, uh, in the, during the Giga Fest in October. IG Metal, Hundes Blood says, wants to represent as many Tesla employees from Giga Berlin as possible. The union has opened an office near the factory premises, did said. We are demonstrating to our colleagues at Tesla that we are ready to support you, whether it's job interviews, employment contracts, working conditions, or wages. So it is important to IG Metal that the Works Council speaks and acts for all employees, emphasize this. In the coming months of ramping up production at Giga Berlin, a lot will have to be reorganized, explained the trade unionist. In order to be able to have a say in the organization of their working conditions, those who work on the machines in the new halls of Giga Berlin must also have a correspondingly strong representation on the works council this ends the story friends from Hondas blood let me know your thoughts what do you think is do you think unions are good thing for tesla at giga berlin or no i'm looking forward to hearing your comments this is armin harayan welcome to torque news please subscribe to this channel for daily breaking tesla news and also give us thumbs up and like this video i would greatly appreciate guys and um, uh, sharing social media uh, god bless you everyone peace be with all of you have a good day and let's move on to our next tesla story